It is busy today here in LA and Union Train Station. Holy cow. Son of those, those Dodgers. There's a lot of a lot of Dodgers. <laughs> a lot of Dodger fans. And a few select here and there scattered about Phillies fans. Yeah. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is May 15th, 2022. It is about 10.29 in the morning. Um, here at Union Station, planning on going somewhere else. You always know the, <laughs> the Dodgers are in town when uh, you see a lot of folks dressed up. Just up the street, just up the street actually, that way. So, and Phillies, so the Phillies are in town. That should be a good game. This is 7th Street and Metro. This is kind of a questionable place, but not too bad because uh, all around here, there's always there's always officers present, so it's relatively safe. There's kind of like two, two sections to this subsection. There's this section, and then there's the other section that goes to, well, Long Beach and Santa Monica. Usually we always take the E train. Uh, avoid the, the downtown. It's just that catching the, the blue, blue line <clears throat> uh, from here to Long Beach is very questionable and at times kind of, well, kind of dangerous. So, yeah. But we're here on a mission. This particular station, it's in the heart of like in the business district that has a very particular ceiling art. Very, very cool. You wouldn't normally notice it if you're just so busy with the, the first thing you're gonna see is the glass building, so. Most people, well, we never look up or we never look down. And then the finally long-awaited years, Chick-fil-A. was this, um, What's this? A marathon? Oh, we I think we had the marathon. Yeah. I think that's what it was. This is technically still part of the 7th and Metro Center. This is the other side of the uh, the bus station or the train station. One ba back of me goes to the 7th and Figueroa. You get back out on this to go to Long Beach and uh, Santa Monica. Here's the Louie. And something's going on over here. Oh, the collection. This bone thingy. Creative office. Cool. Something changed. Just, just anywhere. Oh, Lord. Little sister, that's new. Ranting person, that's normal. Coming up on 7th and all of yesterday, we had a little bit of a shocker in the afternoon on Olive Street. Is it Olive? No, I think it's, uh, I think it's Hill. Anyway, behind the Grand Central Market, we had a shooting during 
sometime in the middle afternoon, I guess it was reported that two gentlemen were at the back of the Grand Central, outside being, one with a knife, one with a hat, had a gun. Uh, well, needless to say, the one with the knife ended up in a fatality. But, uh, well, just out of nowhere, who knows? Here's another classic wonder of architecture, the old tower. It's a movie theater at one time. The Rialto, the Orpheum, still way the heck down there. And every night, especially on the weekends, people will come out here, Broadway here, this is Broadway. This is our New York version of Broadway. There's the globe. Um, but these streets would literally I mean, literally come to life with uh, neon a-glowing. God, it doesn't really seem like it was that long ago. I think if it's not this street, I think the old 50s was over here or the preceding block in back of me. We used to catch a bus. Back then it used to be the RTD. But now it's just a whole bunch of empty theaters with some converted into storefronts and some converted into uh, places of worship. Huge, huge buildings nonetheless. See, we don't have to build shelters for homeless. We just take the existing money, the existing property, acquire it, and change it. Oh, sorry, yeah, the politicians have side deals with construction companies. I keep forgetting this is California. There's the old Eastern building. Robot centurions. There it is. The Eastern building. Look at that. Now, this is beautiful architecture. Look at that. It is just a great and beautiful big building. So many have been knocked down and redone on the outside that you can't even tell what was there. Is it United? I think there's two more on the left. Old United Artists Theaters. This is Broadway and 11th. And I think we're almost in the UFC district, as a matter of fact. Uh, about another couple more, more blocks to the west, and it's UFC uh, property and stuff and schooling. The old Mayan Theater, I think it's on the other side, but I could have sworn it was over here. But anyway, I believe this is the old Herald Examiner property, the newspaper. Once long ago, Caldo Verde. Hey, that sounds good. Copyrighted, but this is uh, this is the Santee South on 11th Street. This is the one place you I would I would highly recommend. This is the Santee Alley. I will try to put the information down, uh, shopping area. This place is really good, particularly on the weekends. It's better on the weekends. I'm just here to, well, of course, get out of the house. But I just want to see if there's any, anything. I'm kind of looking, oh, I see something. I'm looking something in particular for my daughter. So she kind of likes, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, so I'm looking for that, and I saw one. I gotta admit, being down here <laughs> rings a childhood bell of like when my mom and I used to go down to TJ. It was just the streets and the market squares and that stuff were very much like this. Ooh, there's a lot more. This is just, it's a lot of fun, you know? It's its a really grandiose thing to actually do on the weekends. You know, you load up the car, you get dressed. You know, and you come spend the day with the family and shopping for a lot less than you would find retail, guaranteed. 
this place just goes on and on. Wow, toys, clothing, jewelry. I came down here in particular to, once again, for the first time and in a Matrix lifetime and a half, I had to buy these. These are the better fitting for me, plus they're black. And when you're in the kitchen, you're touching your face, you know, adjusting your mask. It just d hides the dirt better than the white does. Ooh, walking the streets gets sick. It's extremely busy here, uh, especially now. It's <clears throat> the women are coming in, in, in by groves, by packs, because of two reasons. Uh, quinceaneras, proms, and weddings. So there's a lot here. Foot traffic is thick. Ooh, goodness. Okay, I lost my direction. Oh, Los Angeles Street. Okay, heading to the surface. I don't know about you, but I get lost. I get totally enthralled with um, the sights and the, the merriment and of people just having a you know good time and stuff. And I forget how far I've walked actually. <laughs> Until much later. But okay, it's thinning out. I'm tired now. Yeah, it's time to head back home. Ooh. Oh, that's good. You know, the funny thing is that I could easily, well now, now that I'm employed, I can afford a little something here. Oh, crap, now I gotta remember where else I gotta go. Um, but honestly, with me having food at home, <clears throat> uh, my mom would, I could almost hear my mom's voice saying, Mañoso, no seas mañoso. <clears throat> don't be greedy, don't be selfish. You have plenty at home. So, plus, you know, sometimes we get a little excited in the fact that we have a little bit, if our income increases a little bit more, then our vision starts to widen out a little more. You know what I mean? Instead of always being so narrow. That's, I think, where a lot of people fuck up, especially when they become, you know, like lottery winners, you know. We can have anything we want in life. And then when they can no longer afford that, it's like, now we gotta get rid of everything to pay off what we have. So. <sighs> but that's, that's life, you know. That's, you have to learn that. Not something that's inherent by any means. And that's just common sense, intelligence, you know. Definitely a lot of how your chemistry, you were born with your chemistry. So, just because mom and dad were frugal doesn't mean that you're gonna be that way, so. It's just individuality. Anyway, I'm gonna go run over here across the street because I see the guys putting stuff away. You folks take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but always take care of yourselves first. Love one another, trust one another, be kind to each other, help one another. Don't take today for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment, pull down your pants and slide on that ice. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, we're doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification button. Tell your friends and family about me, about us, what's going on. And uh, yeah, came back down here. I sure was also gonna go to the, the toy district which is a few more blocks east of me. But I've already come this far. Down, I came down to a 11th Street, almost 12th Street, so that's quite a distance away from where I got off. I'm tired. And the breathing is a little labored, so. Those are cool purses. Love the watermelon. This is a watermelon. All right, friends, I will post this when I can. Till then, stay safe, be smart, and be kind. Bye-bye.